Everyone's struggling with very similar problems when it comes to building sustainable programs to help deliver behavior analytic services. All right, hear me out. The United Kingdom, Ireland, Norway, United Arab Emirates, Lebanon, Egypt, Brazil, oh, and Kenya too, and the United States of America. What do these all have in common? All right figured it out yet, got all those relational networks kind of going on, trying to figure it out. You know what it is? Everyone's struggling with very similar problems when it comes to building sustainable programs to help deliver behavior analytic services. See, when I first went to places and I understood the needs, you know, I started thinking about like, what do they need? They need materials, they need training, but then there's this problem of their perspective and their social, economic, cultural perspective, right? So you can't just walk in there and you can't just hand people materials and say, go for it. Training, I mean, you can go in there, you can offer a couple hours, but at best what you're really doing is just giving them kind of the, the ability to do potentially a lot of harm and damage. And that's the opposite of what people are trying to do when it comes to that. Even though I, I run into that quite frequently where people come in and say, here's a couple hours of training, you're good to go. And then parents, service recipients, they contact bad behavior analysis and it just kind of taints the whole field. But one place that is the Global Autism Project that I have become fond of has actually tried implementing sustainably by working and training with the locals. And it's a really, really cool model. They just opened up their application process to where you could go travel internationally. And I want to bring this to you for two reasons. And that is one, I get asked a lot of times, daily how do you travel and get to do what you do and first of all this is a job that i kind of created i can tell you that but it's it's very different if you're looking to travel and help people out though this is one way now i also want to bring this up to you because of the sustainability piece you see what you do is you work on raising funds to go over there and work with people you're working in about three weeks of time and you're building capacity you're working with people not for them that is the cool thing about this. So go check it out. I have no reason for you to sign up and join in with them. However, I will be joining their training to document and share some content on here. So this is kind of like warming that up, seeing what you think. If you're going to that New York City, I'm gonna be there, let me know down below. Use this video if you're interested in Gap. Use it, share it, spread the message. I can tell you, out of all those countries, I personally visited them and it is amazing that there's such stark similarities as to what's going on across these places and the solution at least in part, Gap is on, they've been on, and they're figuring out how to scale across the world, which is amazing. So my hat's off to y'all, I'll be there. Please share this video, comment down below. Let's show the world what behavior analysis has to offer, and that's your Daily BA.